inside of the month of Rabi'a, mashallah, to barakallah, to celebrate Nubuwa, to celebrate the, the, the prophecy of the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, wa sallam, inside of Rabi'a. But the Nubuwa of the Rasul, the life of the Rasul, qabal al-khalq, is before creation. So Allah says, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَى خُلُقٍ عَظِيمٍ And surely you are upon a magnificent character. His character was the Qur'an that was revealed upon him. And from him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that light flows to the rest of the creation, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Hakad al Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam, commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kul, inna ma ana bashar miflukum. Say, I am a man, quote unquote, just like you. But which one of us will say we're a man like the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? We are bashar, like the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bashar, wa laysa kal bashar, hakad they say. He was a man. But he was not like a man. And which one of us is going to give value to a rock? The same value we attribute to a diamond. Which one of us? Although you may say both of them are rocks, but shatana ma baynahuma. What is the difference between them? And likewise, the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahi wa sallam, in everything that we know about Bashariya, in terms of the, what the human reality, the Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahi wa sallam, is beyond your, your definition of perfection because he is created by the one who is beyond your definition of perfection. Sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sahi wa sallam. Qum fa'andir, this begins, or this is, is the, the turning the page on the chapter of Nubu and opening the page on the chapter of Risal. Right now he's the one who's proclaiming this message to all of the world. Qum fa'andir. And then again, and if you look at all of these first revelations, Ikra bismi rabbi, recite in the name of your Lord. And one of the things we see in all of these early surahs of the Quran, Allah is speaking to a Nabi Muhammad in the second person singular. This is just as it was when Allah first created the Prophet ﷺ. There's only Allah and Nabi Muhammad ﷺ. He is the first objective of all of these verses. And he was shaped by these verses. How did revelation begin? He says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wa Sahib Wa Sallam. This is how revelation began. Verily, I know stones that used to say, Assalamu Alaikum Ya Rasulullah. Before I was sent with Nubuwa, before I was sent with prophecy, verily, I know them. Not La'arifuha, La'arifuhum. Because they move from the lowest reality of being, on quotes with the hierarchical pyramid of being in ontology to the highest reality. They become sentient. He who I have seen such